combos and things like that to a whole nother level. This is, I don't know much about 64, I'm asking. Yeah, I mean, okay, so with 64, it's it's interesting because of how strong Smash DI really is in that game. Mm -hmm. Like A lot of folks look at 64 and they're just like, okay, it's touch of death, no problem. But even with the stuff that is like, quote unquote, guaranteed, if you DI well enough, then you can get out of that kind of stuff. Even oh, Falcons? Even Falcons. Oh, like okay. I've, seen, I've seen some absurd DI off of low percentage up airs okay, that like okay. put you in a position where like, the follow-ups are like, Nearly impossible. It's gotcha. insane. Gotcha. It's just insane. Oh wow. Okay, mm. I'll keep that in mind. That in is mind. this uh, for reals? This is for realsies. These guys are not talking to each other at no all. Don't take backsies. Reggie versus Kyle. I actually and really like this matchup as Ganondorf. Um, it's definitely not in his favor by any means, but it is such a fun matchup. It's like Falcon, except the the neutral game is a bit different because you have huge hitboxes and way bigger than Peaches. So it's like playing Falcon, but with a more fun neutral game, <laughs> not yeah. necessarily better. I'm looking for Kyle to be actually kind of careful with his floats, a bit more mm -hmm. tricky before he pulls the trigger, because if you walk right into one of those long fares so from Ganon, it, it, it's game. It's done. And you can even swat away some of the turnips with uh, the forward air. That was good spacing. Good spacing and gets the dash attack. Back throw, not the option that you want. Definitely still down throw oriented, even as Ganon. Nice. He's getting a lot of utility right now off of those up airs. Nice. Punishing Peach from the edge is oh! definitely what you need to do. I'm trying to think about what that didn't really cover. Maybe like just a quick get up onto the ledge and just standing there. Oh, <laughs> that's another. Uh, you want to roll away because I think against Ganon in particular because he's not Falcon, you want to roll away more so because he's so slow. You kind of need some technology to keep up with the harder tech options. I it's definitely possible, but... You know, I just harder. think it's, it might be a little bit scary even rolling away, though, just because of, like, the range that he has. Especially with options like the fair, it's just so yeah. scary to think. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. I agree, I agree. But I, I'm, that one platform positioning definitely should not have rolled in, I think. Oh. <laughs> Downer gets stuffed by the platform. Oh, this turnip game. She still has a good amount of work, but the nature of Ganondorf is if you get a couple of hits, you can get right back into the game. True. It's just getting those few hits that's so difficult. True, true. And Turnip is a real good edge guarding tool like we see here. That'll do it. And I, I want to see the Peach float a little bit more out there against Ganon, because his recovery is pretty linear and pretty flow chart-ish. Back throw and really smart as well, I think, with the back throw. If mm -hmm. I'm Kyle, I'm looking for opportunities to just give this Ganon at all costs. Right, right, agreed. Oh, another, another stitch? What? This setup even. is lucky. A third stitch? What? Stop it, Kyle! Was, was that stitch after stitch? Oh my god, dude, that's not okay. That's really not okay. <laughs> I mean, you're playing against Ganon. Oh, oh no! How many times oh. will I hit him with this? He really got three stitches out of four turnip grabs. Stop! Man. The RNG right now. <laughs> RNG Jesus, man. He just needs uh, to change his tag to RNG Jesus. For real. Oh, jeez. Alright. Well. Okay. Man, after that, even if you're the Ganon and you're trying to make a comeback, that's just the grimiest way to go out sometimes. It's just sometimes even the game wants you to lose, man. Yeah. It's just how it is. Melee uh, is, a, is a cruel, unforgiving love. Jeez, and he's dash dancing too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he pulled out another stitch. That's, that's <laughs> I looked for a second like, wait a minute. <laughs> this, is, this is not okay. <laughs> At least they're having fun with her. He's, he's happy. She's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did, Did I win? Did I pull out another <laughs> stitch face? For the fifth time? Come on, Peach. Somewhere Bladewise is laughing. Oh yeah, you know, probably. <laughs> 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 And a dot face. <laughs> this guy. This man. His true form is actually just a pair of dice. It really is. <laughs> now he's just pulling so many turnips. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what do you do really if you're Reggie in this situation? I mean, Ganon has the tools. Like you're saying, you just gotta change up the way you space uh, aerial. So you, you start with like neutral, or you start with up air or something. And then you mix it up with forward air, mix it up with um, grabbing, things like that. I'm surprised we haven't seen more Waveland jabs. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. There have been no jabs from the Ganon. That is a very good point. Yeah, 
as you have. It's, it is, in some ways, Ganon's shine. It just comes out so quickly. <laughs> it starts, can they hear us? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the first jab of the evening. And it's right after you said it. I feel like they hear us. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, man, for a second. After you said, I'm just thinking about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. You know, after the forwarder, especially, jab is a really strong option. Oh, yeah. Grabs coming out. This time from Kyle, though. Reggie can definitely get a lot, I think, off of Peach if he's able to get one of those down throws as game in. Yeah. It's just really tough closing the distance, and this onslaught of turnips is not going to be helping his case. Down oh. two stocks just as we cross the minute 30 mark in this second game. Poor guy. Oh, will that kill? Just barely. Reggie on the board. Yeah, the turnip game is strong. I think he does want to use the platforms a bit better than he is. If he had some kind of wavelength technology, he could close the distance a bit better than he has been before. Pulls out the jab there, not perhaps the best time. You get whatever you want after a downer like that. That was a nice try with the reverse up air there. Ooh. Oh, he's just stuck in shield, but... Ooh. Actually, those down airs have been a really interesting answer towards this tendency to down smash for Kyle. Nice. And the wizard's foot as well, the first movement to get out of the corner while simultaneously putting some damage on the board. Right. The, but the good thing about wizard's foot is like it does that lean back kind of deal, so it kind of auto-spaces an aerial for you, and then you get a punish for it. All in one move. Ooh. That landing on that platform into that forward air was just so crisp. I need more moments like this from Reggie. He's starting to climb back into this game, but off stage is where Kyle has been so dominant. Dude, honestly, the momentum from the first match is just so hard to let go of. Oh. Ugh. It's hard to let go of a stage spike like that as well. Now Reggie yeah. and his final stock so far behind. Kyle looking so comfortable as he's putting on even more damage. Yeah, this is, this is grim. He gets the power shield, but doesn't get any punish off of it either. Okay. Oh, grabs. down air! That's not guaranteed, but he goes for it anyway. The man. Okay. There, there's the jab after the forward air. Really strong option. Kind of swats them away. Like you said, similar to a shine. And when he's above him like that, I think he needs to throw out more up airs. Because yeah. it just walls out Peach, as it were, especially if she's on a platform. I think he's just really scared at times of going too high up. That's uh -huh. why we're noticing to sh him really shark underneath the platform a bit more, rather than like a full hop up air where he's so vulnerable. True, true. Oh, wow. That was a good mix-up from the Peach. I thought he was going to go on the platform. Just falls through that back air, finishes up with a turnip and another back air. Good stuff. Yeah, I love watching some Ganon play, but at the end of I, the day, I think about just the offstage game and how consistent Kyle really was.